I'm going to give you a little tour today. I've been busy. I've been cutting all this back. And I've put some little solar night lights all in here so it's all pretty at night. I bought little pots of sweet peas. Love sweet peas. They came in little pots, so I potted them on into bigger pots. But I can't put them out yet because we're due for snow next week. Now, what I, what I did as well, I sowed these seeds. There's that pak choy. There's some little beans that I started up. What's this one? Some spring onions. Oh, that's the pak choy. Now this little row hasn't germinated yet. That's my chilli peppers. They need it to be a lot warmer, I think. Now let's see how the other seeds are going on. Ah, the tomatoes have started. I tried some peas in there, even though I'm going to do some separate, because I'm going to continuously keep sowing them. They keep giving. Those peas, not germinating yet. Oh, and we've got a couple of courgettes. Little baby courgettes. While I was at the shops, I treated myself. And I got this jug. And that was from B&M for four pound. I'm just gonna pop these fake flowers in it. Because that's pretty. And now I'm gonna take you further into the garden. Past this mess that I've been tidying up. See, I forgot I own that garden umbrella. <laughs> right. Now I've had to cut back the blackberry canes, which were all here. And I've had to move a garden bench, Ooh. which was facing this way, and I've put it this way. Ooh. The tulips are about to come out. This little baby bench. Yeah, I prefer where this is seated now. But there's the dilemma. This is the view. So we'll sort that out. Now I got an arch from somebody. Oh, I've tied the roses. I've had to pull them down and attach them here that the shoots are forced to grow upwards and we get more roses. We'll see them in the summer. Now, I got this arch of somebody. I bought some spray paint because it was green. I want to grow my beans and my peas in there. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to go further up into the garden through my little jungle. So I need to trim these back so I can get up my windy path. But still appreciate the shade on this bench. Favourite spot when it's really hot. And I need to tidy out this. Yes, it needs clearing. One side's really clear to the side of it. That's how you want it. But the other side, unfortunately, looks like this and that means I'm gonna have to make room to have a little fire pit so we're gonna have to move this tree oh don't know if you can see it this tree has to move this bird feeder has to move and then I can burn there. 
Oh, there's your little garden tour. <laughs> Trying to be, I'm paranoid about my neighbours hearing me chatting away on it, but then I'll, I'll happily dance like a loon in the garden. <laughs> Look at the daffodils, Easter. And there we go. I'm going to have to plant some stuff in here. And that post box, as you can see, has still not gone up. Them little blue tits are going to be cross with me. Anyway, more bags of soil to shift. I've got to prick out these little baby plants, put them into little pots and get them back on my windowsill where they'll be safe and happy and cosy away from frost and snow next week. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I just thought I'd share and I can't wait to enjoy the blossom and smell of these because I'm going to put some by my back door and then I'm going to put some intermittently in the garden so when I weave my way around the garden quite happily to a nice ice cold drink in the summer all the work will be done and I can just enjoy the feasts of my labour that I've done now <sighs> Happy Bank Holiday everyone I hope that was interesting well if it wasn't it's not your cup of tea is it speaking of tea I need to get a brew on. Bye.